This is the 2020 GCE O-Level Chemistry MCQ Solutions brought to you by TSA, the Science Academy. We're going to take a look at the various questions in this year's examination for the 2020 GCE O-Level and also most importantly to listen up towards the thoughts process that is used to approach each of the question. Now it is to note that some of the solutions are not straightforward as I will want to take a little bit of a detour to walk through some of the concepts that are behind them. And if this was viewed during your revision period, it would be quite helpful because it helps you to consolidate some of the thoughts. Now remember that it is more important to understand why three of the other answers are incorrect rather than to just zoom in on the correct answers at the start. So in our first question here, we have an excess of a dilute acid is actually added to a known quantity of sodium carbonate. So we do know what's the exact mass at the start, if let's say we're dealing with it in the solid state, or if let's say this was dealt forth in the solution state, we will know what was the volume as well as the concentration. Now the results of this experiment that we are actually trying to measure is actually going to be the temperature change of this reaction. So some of the tools that was provided to us includes the thermometer as well as the measuring cylinder. The thermometer is very much relatable towards the measurement of the change in temperature during the experiment. And the measuring cylinder over here will be helpful by helping us to measure the amount of acid that we are actually adding to it. And again, if sodium carbonate was existing as a solution, then it will be helpful to help us to measure the amount of sodium carbonate that we are using as well. So we're given a few more other apparatus and we are asked what was the additional apparatus that is required for this experiment. So the gas range here itself is largely used for the collection of gases. So this experiment was actually an acid and carbonate reaction. So through this, we will be obtaining salt water and as well as the liberation of carbon dioxide gas. It seems that the gas range would be quite helpful if let's say we were actually looking for the intention of collecting the carbon dioxide gas to quantify the speed of reaction or to quantify the whole yield of the reaction or as well as to quantify whether has my limiting reagent has actually fully reacted. But you can see that the context of this question here, we are again very much interested in measuring the change in temperature and therefore gas range would be unnecessary for such an experiment. Now stopwatch over here is very much similar to number one for the gas range, whereby we're going to use time as a factor to determine the speed of reaction. Now the question here did not explicitly mention that we're interested in modifying either the concentration, the temperature using catalyst or even modifying exposed surface area in an attempt to try to see how does the kinetics of the reaction actually change. This was truly only there to measure the change in your temperature and therefore your stopwatch will also be unnecessary at this particular instance. Now the balance here it would be better if we just treat of this as a weighing balance it would be quite useful because sodium carbonate could come in as a solid and if it does come in as a solid this whole idea of a known quantity must have meant that throughout the experiment at the start of it we need to make sure that we have a constant mass of our sodium carbonate so this constant mass of our sodium carbonate will then ensure the equality between different sets of experiment so that we can vary different items but still using the same amount of sodium carbonate to make sure that the temperature change is being attributed to the variable and nothing to do with the quantity of your sodium carbonate. And lastly, styrofoam cup here is going to be very intuitive because anything that deals with temperature change, you will want a pretty decent vessel to hold the items within such that it has a rather good thermal insulation. This actually minimizes any form of heat exchange with the X environment. So this ensures that the test results are as accurate as possible and we can attribute this to the kind of variable that we're changing that we can actually control rather than mention that inaccuracy lies because of the exchange with the environment. So if that the answer for MCQ1 is going to be option D.